Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here. Today, another exciting day. We have a PSA return. Um, I don't even know what number of PSA return this is, but it's getting up there. This was a uh, four, um, 64 card um, submission that I did on the when they were doing the National Convention Special, $18 a card. So, let's see what we got. They taped the boxes up this time. They haven't been doing so it's gonna take a little bit more to crack into this thing. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, maybe mash of pre. I'll cut this box open a little bit. Get these corners cut. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, the next video I'm going to pre slice the book box open but not look at them. Well, definitely secure. Okay. Wow. Okay, there. Kind of destroyed the box taking it out there. There's my paperwork. Make sure he has 64 card order. Some uh, advertisements. What is this thing? Hmm. Some stickers here. Not sure why they put those in there. Hopefully they got the right order here. I think they did because that card is definitely one of my cards. Okay, so a little delay. Now here we go. First card, Luke Skywalker. Star Wars card. Um, the back looks really good. There's a little bit of white there, but that's just the design of the card. Like a little bit of that star field back there. Ah, the gold... From Top's Finest 2018, Luke Skywalker. Number 45 out of 50. That looks so good in the slab. Wow. I'm glad I... I'm good, definitely going to grade some more of these. These look really good slabbed up. At least some of my more favorite characters. So, that looks like an easy 10 to me. I mean, corners all look good. Yeah, there we go. PSA 10 to start off. Nice. That's cool. I bet you that's going to be low pop. Over here, you're going to see pop report data and recent sales data. <clears throat> oh, thick card here. Except this is, it shouldn't be a thick card. Huh. That's kind of weird. But it's the Darkest Lord. This is a uh, Star Wars Galaxy Chrome card. This is the first one of these I've ever graded. And I don't know why it's in a thick card holder. Oh man, that looks so good. I'm gonna make sure I'm not all the way. The refractor. I mean, this is not even a numbered card. Look how great that looks slabbed. Beautiful. Love Star Wars Chrome Galaxy. They're not thick cards though. They're really throwing me off why it's in a thick card case. But. Kind of hard to see the edges when it's because it's way down in there. It looks clean on the back. Um, this is a, from 2021, so I would hope that it is a uh, clean card. Can we get a PSA 10 on our first ever Star Wars Galaxy? Yeah, there we go. PSA 10. Nice. Woo. Love that. Definitely want to send some more of these uh, Chrome Galaxy cards in. 
Okay, here's Fight in the Rain. Um, not sure what this is yet. Some Star Wars card. The back of the card looks good. Oh, this is a red. Django Fett, Fight in the Rain. Um, man, that looks good. Um, that's an easy PSA 10. Edges all look good. Centering's spot on. A nine. Oh no. I missed something here. I don't get it. That's a clean card, man. Wow, that looks so good, slab with the red and the red, but somehow it got a, it got a nine. Darn it. Well, beautiful card. Okay. Next, going to baseball. Jazz Chisholm. Some type of Allen Ginter card. Ah, the foil. Um, this is a hot box foil from 2021 Allen Ginter. Um, he's he started off really good this year but got injured. Um, so Man, I wonder if the rookie card symbol is off-centered a little bit. I just now noticed that. But, um, so this card is probably not the smartest to grade, but I just like it, and I, I think he's a good player. And he'll be back next year. But, I mean, it looks like a 10 to me. Yep, Jim Mint 10, nice. Um, full cards, not the easiest to grade, so really cool to get that as a 10. All right, Qui-Gon. Might be a white corner down there, darn it. And I don't think that... It might be part of the graphics too, but it looks like a white corner. Man. I wonder if that is an actual white corner or it is a... Um, graphics on there. Oh, man. Okay. Qui-Gon Black. Now, this is a 5 out of 10 from 2018 Star Wars Finest. Uh, the blacks don't look as good slab, but it still looks cool. Um, the gold popped more, I think. Um, that looks like an easy 10, unless that was an actual ding back there on the corner. Ah, got a 9. Yeah, it must be actual uh, bad corner. That's a shame, because there's probably not too many of those that ever got graded. Man, my low number of Star Wars cards did not get the good grades. All right, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Um, Chrome, so this is probably his rookie card. Um, the back looks perfect. Ah, there he is. These are not difficult to grade. It looks like easy 10. Man, a 9 on that one. Oof. Man. I don't see anything on there. But it is what it is. Man, might have gotten a little bit of a harsh grader. You can always tell. Pretty quick. None of those look like nines. They, they've all looked like tens to me. But you're just not going to get all tens. Freshman Flash, Aaron Judge. I'm pretty sure this is a rookie. Back looks perfect. Yeah. 2017 Topps Chrome Insert Freshman Flash Aaron Judge. It's kind of a weird looking picture. I've never really liked the picture on here. But it is a rookie card. I mean, it looks like an easy 10 also. These are pretty new cards and high quality. Yeah, PSA 10. That's a, that's really good to get that one as a 10. It's not numbered or anything. But, cool. Kyle Schwarber. I see a bad corner down there. In that corner, I see white. Numbered out 250. Um, centering looks good, though. Purple. Kyle Schwarber, rookie. Of course, he's having a, a very good year. Bombing some home runs. Um, it's going to come down to that corner. That one right there. I can definitely see it getting a 9 or a 10. 
most orders I would think it would be a nine, a ten, but this order might not get a, get a ten. Yeah, PSA nine. Man, I I've had terrible success, terrible luck grading two thousand sixteen Bowman stuff. Just I just don't get good grades on it. Okay, Spider Man. <laughs> this one's out of forty nine. Now. I was just basically grading this just to see how it came out, came look, came out looking slab. I've, I've been kind of experimenting with non uh, traditional stuff to grade and just see how they do. And I wanted to try Spider Man Homecoming foil card. Um, the back, I mean, I could say there's a little bit of white in that that corner and that one, but it is out of forty nine. Oh, that looks good. It's the black web version. It's like a black foil. That looks really cool. The front looks great. But I bet you it's probably a 9. Those two bottom corners were not that great. Ah, it did get a 9. But that looks pretty amazing with the, uh, with the red border and the red label. I like it. And with Spider-Man being red. And there's a web on the uh, the picture and the web right there. It's a really cool looking card. So, yeah, got a nine on it. Darn it. Another Obi Wan. Oh, this is the first Obi Wan. There was a, uh, and this is a short print. It's number one eighteen. The other one I was thinking was Qui Gon. So this is the Obi Wan. Ah, another gold. Man, those golds pop in this stuff. More tops finest. Um, see these corners, those corners look good. Yeah, this this has to be a ten. Come on now, beautiful card, short print. Yes, PSA ten, nice. Man, these finest cards from two thousand eighteen look a really good slabbed up, especially the. Uh, the gold parallels. And I, I've graded an orange before too. It looked good. All right. Well, you're gonna have to see this on camera, I guess, as I try to open this box. If I don't slice myself, it would make probably a viral video as YouTuber slices open his hand opening a box of cards. Blames PSA. No, I'm just kidding. We'll get it open. I've got a slice in the vein. Okay. Oh, this is where you got to slice this little thing here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pre slice my other boxes. Don't worry, I w I'm not going to peek. Yeah, they're just very difficult to open. All this extra tape. Okay. Now, oh, there's a problem. We're not slicing this back, back here. Okay. There we go. It's open <laughs> with some difficulties. I hope you didn't see the card. I didn't see where it was, but it was. Huh. Might have gotten on camera for a second. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Jazz. This is a Bowman Chrome Prospect. Probably his first. I don't think I would send just a regular one. The back looks looks perfect. Ah, there he is. Jazz Chisholm. Bowman first. Centering looks good. That looks like easy 10. Yeah, there we go. PSA 10 on the Jazz. Bowman first. 2017 grades pretty well. All right, Raphael Devers. With these new cards, <laughs> unless there's something real obvious damage on it, which I actually have 
gotten better at looking at cards, I'm always going to think they're tens because I wouldn't have sent them if I didn't think they're tens. So when you probably get hear me say, "Well, that looks like a ten. That looks like a ten. It's because I tried to pick them out a little better. So this is a Raphael Devers autograph card. Oh, cool! And it's got the rookie card symbol. Finest Hour on card auto from 2018 Tops Finest. Nice looking card. Pulled that on the channel. Um, I don't see printing lines. So I'm thinking I don't see bad corners. I don't see printing lines. Centering looks okay. This has to be a 10, right? Yeah, there we go. PSA 10. Sharp looking card. Great young player. Like it. The Babe. Babe Ruth. This is another thing I'm kind of experimenting with, and that is grading, um, like, legendary players' cards, even though they're not from old cards from the newer sets. There's a refractor from Alan Ginter Chrome. The refractors look so good. Um, centering looks good. No printing lines, I could tell. That has to be... Come on. Corners look good. Now, who knows what the market will be for cards like this, but I'm just kind of grading them for me and just trying some things out because I have a lot of cards. As you guys know, I've been opening cards in this channel forever, and um, I'm trying to experiment with more grading things. All right, that looks like a 10. Yeah, PSA 10 on the Babe Ruth Refractor. So you're going to notice lots of really low pop cards because not a lot of people have been grading stuff like this. I'm just kind of trying some things here. So we have another Jazz Chisholm. I believe this is the autograph. The back of the card looks perfect. Um, jazz, the uh, Bowman First Auto. Um, again, centering looks good. Easy 10. A 9. <sighs> I wonder if that's a smudge because I see a little bit of blue right there. I wonder if the auto got like some ink got smudged down there, or if that's in the uh, the graphics. Well, that might be why it got a nine. If maybe a little bit of ink got smudged down there, maybe there's a way to clean that off. But I'd be too scared to try to clean ink off of a card. More Raphael Devers. You could tell when I did this order, I was a uh, Feeling like he was having a good year, and he is. The back looks fine. Another horizontal card, 2018 Bone Chrome Sterling. Like an insert. It's not from the Bone Sterling set, it's just the insert part of Bone Chrome. Rookie card. Man, that looks like a 10. That's just something on my on this uh, plastic. Yeah, Jim Mint 10 on the Devers. Bowman Sterling. I wish I could find me an Otani of that set. I'd love to grade that. I didn't ever, I was never able to pull it. Ah, here's this one for the PC. Leody Tavares, he, he's had a pretty good year. Um, his first year, he's really got to play real extensive time. He was a big prospect and then kind of dropped down but I mean, he was he was born in '98, so he's what 20. He just turned 24, so he's still pretty young. Tons of speed, getting better at, in the outfield. This is out of 150. Had to get it. Well, I I got this in a break, and being a Rangers fan, of course, this is always going to be in my collection. Now I don't like where he signed it. I think he probably should have used more of the white area there, but. Looks like a 10. Centering looks on point. Easy 10. 9. Gosh. I do terrible on Bowman Autos too. And um, I'm not sure why I do so bad on these. I mean, that looks like a 10. I don't get it. Okay, frustrating nine on that one. 
All right, we got LeBron James. Maybe a little bit of white up in that corner. Or not the cleanest cut corner. 2016 Prism. Yeah, that corner, that corner definitely has a little bit of an issue, so I'm going to guess a 9 on that one. I think the centering looks okay. Jim meant 10. See, how did that get a 10? And this Laoti with flawless Laoti gets a 9. All right. Well, we got BSA 10 LeBron. Okay. Another Devers. Uh, this is a update series Devers. Um, looks good on the back. I don't know that so many Devers are horizontal cards. Um, not, this is a true rookie, not a um, rookie date or, yeah, rookie debut. Um, it's update 2018. That looks like a 10. This set grades really easy. Yeah, PSA 10 on the Devers. Adding to my Devers collection. Ah, now we're going to Pokemon. So a little bit of everything in these uh, National Convention Special Orders. Um, man, I do see a lot of whitening on the on the edges though, on the corners. Every corner has a little bit of whitening. And um, Serene looks pretty decent though. Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Um, this is a Tag Team GX uh, from Unified Minds. <sighs> I really want this in a 10, but this does not look like a PSA 10, judging by those corners back there. So I'm going to guess 9. Yep, PSA 9. Definitely did not deserve a 10, but that is a really cool card. And um, it would that's a solid grade for as much whitening as in those corners. See, now these corners are very clean but it does seem a little bit thin over here oh leafeon this is an alternate art card from evolving skies what an amazing set this evolving skies set is guys very nice um i definitely see it being off center though it's thinner over here but really cool art it is kind of thicker on the top and on the side so uh, I don't think you can get a 10 so hopefully we can get a 9 out of this but you never know sometimes you can get some surprise 10s on these uh, ultra modern Pokemon cards yeah 9 I, I really need that in a 10 but that's just not the centering killed it alright this one edges look perfect it is definitely thin on this side and on top. Luminion V, another alternate art. This one from uh, Brilliant Stars. Now, I think the Serene looks better on this one than that Leaf Young, but it's still not perfect. But I could see this getting a 10, like maybe a weaker 10. Man, that got a 9. Love that art though. That is so cool. These alternate art cards, guys, oh, they're so good. And if you can get them in tens with all the, the cards that are miscut, oh man, there's a lot of white in that bottom. Like a, a scratch down there. Oh, there's scratches all over the back of this card. What in the world? Huh. I wonder how that happened. Holy cow. Like right there, psh, 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 scratches. There's one there. Like, I don't remember that. Some whitening in these corners. Man. Rayquaza EX. Dragon's Exalted. Okay. Um, it's definitely thick on top. With those scratches on the back, I think the best possible grade it can get is a 7. But it looks pretty good. These are super rare, these uh, black and white era full art EX cards. I guarantee it, you know how much hype there is for the uh, Evolving Skies Rayquaza um, VMAX. This card is 
probably a hundred times rarer than that card. Probably a thousand times rarer than that card. Just no, no one was buying Pokemon during this era. But yeah, centering's way off. Um, this is probably a seven. An eight! Whoa. That, I don't understand. Those are some bad scratches on the back of that card. I wonder if that happened with them putting this in here. Like, there's no way they could have missed that. Wow. That's a very generous aid on that card. That, I mean, I could have seen them giving it a six maybe, but no. Scratches, usually they give you a seven. But not an eight. Wow. I lucked out on that one big time. Okay, centering. It's a little thin over here. Um, I do see a little bit of whitening in that corner. Oh, Vaporeon VMAX. <clears throat> this is a promo alternate art um, EV evolution from one of those boxes. The centering on the front looks good, but the back is not great. So I can see this getting a 9. PSA 10. Wow. This one. Okay. We're going to have to stop our video after this card. But this makes me wonder. Because it might be a good thing to send in sports cards and Pokemon cards in the same order. Because I seem like I'm getting better grades on my Pokemon cards than if I sent all my cards in on one single Pokemon order. Um, maybe I'm getting different graders because of having a mix of different stuff. But two shocking grades in a row. I mean, not really. Sh this one was shocking. This one was just a generous grade. Definitely um, could see this getting a 9. Wow, PSA 10. That's huge as a PSA 10 being a promo. But we got to stop there. We're uh, running out of uh, time here. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos later.